So today we're gonna talk about ICL surgery, which stands for implantable columnar lens, kind of going over who's a good candidate, what the surgery entails, what downtime looks like, and just a general overview of the surgery. So who's a good candidate for ICL surgery? Well, first off, you need to be nearsighted, so your prescription needs to start with a negative number. This is approved for patients from a negative 3.0 up to a negative 15. And if you have an astigmatism, you have to have an astigmatism that is up to but not exceeding negative 4. So right now, if your prescription starts with a plus or you are hyperopic, unfortunately, we can't correct that right now. But we're hoping as we continue to use these lenses and they become more readily available that they will expand the range of who can have the surgery done. We also want someone who is 21 years of age or older, not pregnant or nursing, and we do look for stability of your prescription. So we don't want to see that your prescription has changed in the last at least six months, but ideally one year, so that we know that when we do that surgery, we won't have a lot of changes moving forward. So say you're a good candidate for the surgery. What happens when you get this done? This surgery is a little bit different than LASIK and PRK. So this surgery would be done in the operating room in a sterile setting. You'll have an IV with sedation, just like you would if you had cataract surgery or a more involved procedure. And so you'll be in twilight sleep for that whole procedure. Same medication as if you had like your wisdom teeth out. Your eye will be numb for the surgery. Your pupil will be dilated before you go back in for surgery and then the surgeon will kind of take it from there. The actual surgery itself is pretty simple. It's very comparable to cataract surgery. They take that columnar lens and it's rolled up really tiny. They put it in a little injector that goes through a small incision on the outside of your cornea, right on the edge, and they'll inject that lens inside of the eye. And then as it gets into the eye, it will unroll and lay flat and they position it where it should be. So where this lens sits is actually behind the colored part of your eye, so behind your iris, but in front of your natural lens in that little space that exists right there. After they get the lens positioned and tucked into place, they'll make sure that it's positioned where they want it to be and the surgery is done. There's no sutures or stitches that they have to use. All the wounds that they create to get the lens into the eye are self-sealing because they put them at a 45 degree angle. So pressure from inside of the eye matches pressure from outside of the eye and that keeps your incision closed. And then you'll be on some eye drops for a short time after. What you can expect immediately following surgery is really instant vision correction. Your vision should be almost at its end point within hours after the surgery, which is really exciting. You will have some swelling and some inflammation around your incision sites and inside of the eye from the manipulation of the eye, but in general, that will heal very quickly. Within a week or so, all of that swelling and inflammation should be gone. The advantage of this over LASIK and PRK is that there's really no corneal manipulation with this surgery. So your measurements preoperatively for cataract surgery will be a little bit more accurate if you've had ICL surgery versus LASIK or PRK. And the other good thing about ICL surgery is that if for some reason you don't like how the vision turned out, you're not happy with it, you don't like it overall, we can easily remove that lens at any time. We can also exchange it. So if your prescription ends up shifting or changing, We'll bring you back in, we'll take the lens out, we'll put a new one in, in a very simple and easy process. So all in all, I would say a really good procedure, very safe, quick healing time, quick recovery, and I think a great option for you.